The Mount Sinai Center for Healthcare Readiness is an organization that brings together all of the aspects of the Mount Sinai Health System, our scientists, our clinicians, and our operations leads to enhance our ability to deliver healthcare during public health emergencies and disasters. We partner with local public health organizations, government organizations, or other academic medical centers and the business community to think about how we keep functioning when large scale events happen. We need to bring together the people who care for patients with the scientists who do the important research and work behind the scenes to understand what's impacting us. And we need to work together closely with the people who run the operations of a system. Everyone from supply chain to emergency management in order to have a, a impact. We prepare for those things that we know may be coming, like a hurricane or a major winter storm, but we're also constantly monitoring and prepared for those disasters that we have no way of knowing may come. The time to plan is before the public health emergency. We want to make sure that the vision of the path forward is a vision of shared ownership of these complex issues in the interest of the public. Health system resilience is the ability of our system to respond to disasters and public health emergencies. Not only do we need all of the clinical expertise, such as folks from the emergency department, from the intensive care units, but we need folks in the research space, in our supply chain management. If we don't have the things that we need, then how are we gonna provide the care that the public expects of us? We learned during COVID-19 what the real impact of not having what you need on hand will do to a system, to patient care. What we have done since is try and identify those things that through supply chain and other areas that we're better prepared in terms of inventory and stockpile and access to vendors that will give us real-time supplies. We work with the leads at the hospital sites, at the ambulatory center sites, in, in administration to build out these emergency management programs as well as the business continuity program. We're lucky at Mount Sinai because we have such a great mix of clinicians, of academicians and scientists who think about disaster preparedness and think about healthcare readiness in a new way. We need to think about our everyday clinical care and our clinical operation as continuous with what's in the emergency operation mode that we go into. We work closely with our emergency managers and our system leaders to ensure that our clinical operations on a daily basis are aligned with how we move into an emergency mode so that we can rely on the folks who do this work every day in order to provide expertise in how a public health emergency needs to be addressed in real time. We need to make sure that we are adapting the newest technologies to enhance the way we deliver care, not only on an everyday basis, but also during a public health emergency. And not every health system is the same. We have small rural hospitals. We have large health systems like ours. So we need to make sure that what we are creating and what we're thinking about is adaptable to any scenario. Collaboration is important for delivering high quality care during public health emergencies because nobody can do it alone. When we think about a system, we think about some of its parts. And what we really want to strive to do is to bring those parts together to function as a whole, both during times of usual care and when the system's really stressed. And by having those relationships, we can rely on them when we need to. Mount Sinai is a research center of excellence across many areas, whether that's genetics and genomics, our virology and microbiology. And all of these areas come together to think about how do we start to build strong collaborations, potentially across different research areas that haven't traditionally partnered in the past. And it's those types of partnerships that help us to push the envelope when it comes to what readiness looks like. And then it also allows us to go to our government officials, our policymakers, and say, here's what you should be thinking about. And then saying there's science behind it, there's evidence, there's data. 
a lot of what we've done in the past has been reactive. Now we have to become proactive. We have to start looking to see what we can do to try to prevent the same kinds of things happening again. We are using the knowledge that we've gained from our expert partners across the system and from across the region in order to really build the next generation health system. The collaboration across the board has really helped us just be more successful. We're having folks who think a bit differently or have different areas of expertise really come together and try to build a better system. We are excited to be a partner, but this is too big for us to do alone. We need you to be at the table. We need to bring your experts. We need to bring your advocacy voice. We need to bring your passion to taking care of the public with us as we all craft the path forward together.